Thank you, Lord, for a powerful name. How many of you know that there is power in the name of Jesus? There is no other name under the heavens where men can be saved. The name of Jesus. There is power in his name. There is power.
Time there is power. There is power in the name of Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. It's in his name. It's in his name. It's in his name. It's in his name. There is power in the name of Jesus. To break every chain. To break every chain. To break every chain. To break every chain. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a hand of praise if you believe that the chains have been broken. Amen. Hallelujah. The only name that is worth repeating and worth talking about is the name of Jesus. Jesus. 
There is no other name. That's why we speak the name of Jesus. We speak it because there is power, there is healing, there is deliverance in the name of Jesus. I just want to speak the name of Jesus. Over every heart and every mind Cause I know there is peace in your presence I speak Jesus Cause your name name of Jesus over fear and all anxiety to every soul held captive by depression I speak Jesus Praise the Lord. A global hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The wonder in that name will reach you tonight in Jesus' name. And uh, something great will happen here tonight. The Bible says, the eyes of God run to and fro in the earth to show himself strong on behalf of those whose hearts are perfect towards him. When it was time for Israel to come out of Egypt, God found Moses. When God was seeking someone to confront Goliath, God found David. When it was time for an apostle to arise to the Gentiles, God found Paul the Apostle. In the early 70s, God wanted to change the landscape of Christianity in Nigeria from nominalism to spiritualism. And the eyes of God ran to and fro. He found a man in 1973. <laughs> 
just about a year ago, God wanted to start the digital global evangelization. And the eyes of God, as usual, ran through and through in the world. And he found a man. Tonight, I'm standing here to announce to the whole world. And you join me to welcome to the podium tonight the Apostle of Digital Global World Evangelization, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumoye. You are welcome, sir. Thank you, Pastor. Everybody praise the Lord. Jesus will be your joy. Jesus will be your emancipator. And Jesus will be your savior. He will be your upholder. He will uphold you. And Jesus will be the sufficiency of your life even tonight in Jesus' name. J for joy. E for emancipator. S for savior. U for upholder. And S, your sufficiency. All your problems tonight, they rolled away in Jesus' name. Let's pray together. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I'm asking Lord tonight that you will touch everyone. Save everyone. Heal everyone. Deliver everyone. Set every captive free. Thank you, Lord, for the answer. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you. Tonight, we're coming to talk together and then to demonstrate the power of the Lord in your life tonight in Jesus' name. I'm talking to you tonight on the trusted performance of the great promise keeper. The Lord has given us the promise, the promise to save. The promise to heal, the promise to deliver, and the promise to remove every mountain in your life. I want to announce to you that God is a promise keeper. And tonight, he has a performance, a performance in your life. The performance we can trust. The performance we can lean on. The performance yeah, straight as we have multiple testimonies tonight multiple testimonies indeed as we have this coming all the way from pakistan ruth samuel wrote i had a severe pain in my ribs and one of my eyes also was hurting seriously after the prayers of the man of god on the second day of the triumphant park crusade i received the touch of the triumphant power on my eye my eye got healed and not just that, the ribs that was hurting as well got healed. And I can say the triumphant power indeed is at work in my body. From Pakistan, Karachi, we move to West Africa, Ghana, for testimony. Ghana, live. Hello, people of God. I greet you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. My name is Collins Bachadankwa from Ghana and Kumasi to be precise. I lost my job in 2020 when the first case of COVID was recorded in the country and I have since then been struggling financially, uh, taking care of myself, my wife and three children. My wife too um, is jobless and it has just been by the grace of God that we have been able to survive till now. I put this prayer request before God to give me a job and in fact a better one than what I was 
doing at first and consistently pray to God and back it with faith. I was called for a series of interviews between April and May and God being so good, in June, the very first week of June, God gave me a job, a very good one, and I'm so grateful and thankful to him. And surprisingly, during the May edition of the GCK, I was very sick. I wasn't well. I was actually lying down, and for the first three, four days of the crusade, I had to listen on my phone uh, from the house. And God touched me on the very third day of the program for the very first time. I was able to get up to walk and, and do other things. And I want you to join me, thank God, for the miracle of healing and also the provision of a job for me and, and how God has elevated me financially. I'm so grateful to God. Put your hand together for Jesus. And Is that take, how you want to do? And we take this one just before we return to the moderating overseer. This one is from Benin City. Live. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Sister Ikora Justina from Bini East Region, Edo State. I want to testify of the goodness of God for my family and that's my life of my son. In April during the global crusade, what happened? My son swallowed battery. So we rushed him to the hospital, that's UBTH in Benin here. We wanted to do operation for him because they booked him for operation to remove the battery. During the process, we are now praying. I called some of our pastors, our regional overseer, and some other persons that I called, that they should pray along with me. This is what is going on. Then in the, in the world, when we are waiting for the soldier to come, to come and do the operation, we waited throughout the night. They were calling the soldier. He couldn't come. But inside the world, we were just praying, connecting. I was telling God that during this program that is going on, I'm here, Lord, my, I attach my faith to the program, that in the previous program, that a woman testified that they were, she was inside the theater, waiting to do a patient to remove the fiber that was in her womb. That during the process, as she was there, that the fiber came out on its own, that the operation was not done again. I started telling God, God, come and do my own for me, that this is my son. I don't want them to do operation for him. He's too tender at this age that they'll be doing operation for him. That God on his own should come and remove the battery inside this room and bring it out by himself. That the God who did it for that woman during the past global crusade should come and do my own. As we are in the world praying, in the money of it, God did a great miracle. That when the soldier came, they checked it, they said the thing has gone down. On his own, the battery came out, he stood it out, and nothing happened to him. They didn't do the operation again. Put your hand together for Jesus. This is the extra we did on that day to show the battery inside the stomach. So I give God the miracle for what he has done for me. Praise the Lord. Back to the moderating overseer. Put your hands together for Jesus. Every element contrary to the will of God will be poured out of your life. Check your body and come forward. Next line for the miracle. You are listening to others. The world is ready to listen to you now. I said the world is waiting to hear your own testimony. So you come forward to your right hand side now. We are taking. We are taking testimonies from the Alpha location now. Praise the Lord. Um, Dr. Kyle Diabe, medical practitioner. Beside me is Sister Faith Gabriel from Uso in our region here in Ondo State. She had the problem of difficulty with breathing for about three years. 
and this necessitated that taking medication, we could say something like chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, but the power of the Lord since Thursday we started the GCK has taught her. She has a testimony to share with us. Sister Faith Gabriel, Modupa Lawa Lua Fi Yanue, Lorimi, Mogbai Bala, Moti Bai Bala, Modupa O, Fi Yanue, Lorimi, Lati or Dumeta, Kim Maluogu, me, Nis Loru, Lot, Lati Thursday, Timorasi B, T Baba Badra, Ni Thursday, no, Lati Bana, Titi Doni. Together for Jesus. Breathing. Problem taken away. Your own problem is going right, right now. And she has shared with us the problem that God has removed from our life. Sister Emmanuel Esther is standing beside me. She's from Midori. She complained, medically we say cephalgia, but commonly headache for a period of one week. But the hand of the Lord taught her, and on Thursday, when the GCK start, uh, crusade started, she has a wonderful testimony she will share with us. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I am Emmanuel Esther from Owena region as Idore. Owen, uh, a touching group of districts. I thank the Lord for the salvation of my soul. By the grace of God, I'm me a member of Deeper Life. And I know by the grace of God, I will be a Deeper Life member in a way that will be glory to the, to the Lord Almighty. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My, my testimony goes thus. The, uh, a week ago, I have a severe headache. Even though as I'm coming here to the pulpit here, you see, if I, as I walk down, I will be feel as I, I want to fall down the way the headache uh, the way I feel the headache. But I turned the Lord on Thursday when I got here. Um, but after Baba's message, um, Baba said that we should lay hands on where we have pain. And I lay hands on my head. And by the grace of God, when Baba finished praying, I, saw, I, I feel like some, something went out of my body. So, and since then, I was relieved. Praise the Lord. Put Praise your hands God. together for Jesus. Whatever affliction in your life, not only that is going, it has gone. Come forward to share your testimony. Beside me is Brother Monde Basi from Lege Village in the Odibo local government of Ondo State. On the 22nd of March, 2000, I mean this year, it collapsed. And then two days after, strange, something strange started develop, I mean developed on the right upper limb, darkish discoloration, and then by March GCK edition, God touched him. Let, him, let us hear from him. Praise the Lord. If you're happy, say hallelujah. 
I want to thank God for what God really did in my life on this uh, global crusade. My name is Mondi Basi. It happened on 22 March. I was in my bedroom. When I rise up, I see that there were two young men holding, by, holding me by my side. And they were proclaiming that you shall not die. When I came back to my senses, I said, what is really happening? They said that uh, you have been dead, not dead, that you have been fainted for three hours, that they have really tried, that nothing really happened, but God really revived you. Praise the Lord. At that incident, I was rushed to the hospital. So in the hospital, when I was admitted, something happened that my right hand here swallowed. The thing swallowed from up here down. That, let me say, like three hours, there are rashes that just come out of the hands. And at that rashes now, there was water coming out of those rashes. It was so severe. The pain was so severe. Then it was March edition of uh, this global crusade. And the hospital I was admitted was just opposite our location. So I just excused the doctor that, please, when the time of that crusade started, just let me go there. And the man really has agreed with me. So to cut the long story short, when I go to the crusade ground, to, the, to our location there, my pastor saw me and called me at the back of the church. He said, I should just believe God that something is going to happen in my life. Amen? He prayed. I came out after the ministration of the man of God. The final amen, something happened. After the final amen, I discovered that the whole rushing of the water in my right hand there was dry up. Praise the Lord. Not only that, the second day, you know, it was on Thursday. The second day, on Friday, the swallow was still there. So when I came that second day again, I still believed God. After the ministration that on Friday, the man of God said we should lay hands on when we have our problems. I was unable to raise up my right hand because it was so heavy. I raised up my left hand. After the final amen, the swell up got down. Amen. They thought they, after, after I left, it was itching. The whole body was itching. When the right hand dried, the hand became so black. And it was itching me. And my pastor there still said, believe God, something is going to happen again. They told you on Saturday like this, when the man of God still prayed, I believe God, that was the end of the itching. Children of God, I want you to help me to shout a bigger hallelujah. Amen. Multiple miracles. Shout it, let me hear you. For who? For you. We are waiting. Shake your body and come and line up. You are the next on the line. Listen to the next testifier. The next testifier is Peter Mary, who developed arthritis for a period of three months. But by the, during the April GCK edition of the Global Crusade, she got a miracle. Let's listen to her testimony. Praise the Lord, Church. My name is Peter Mary from Usho, our region, under state Nigerian. I want to thank God for what God did for me during the um, April edition of the Global Crusade with Kumui. It, it, it all started by January, this very year, that I discovered I was having pains in my palms, in my both fingers, in all my ten fingers, my both palms. I discovered I was having pains, my palms were becoming swell, swollen, and then 
uh, by then it, it was before the acid strike, so I have to go to one of the school clinic right there in the University of Abuja. And then when I got to the school clinic, they told me that maybe possibly I slept on the ants, so I went back to my hostel. So during the acid strike, when I came back home, I discovered these palms became more swollen, and then it, it was getting steeped. I was then able to hold even my smartphone for some seconds. I began to begin to feel pains. I was unable to wash, not even to brush my teeth. My mom did everything for me. And then all this I kept to myself with the pains. And then I was praying like, God, if only this pain can relieve, just a relief from this pain, I'll be in, it will be okay for me. Then it was during the edition of the Global Crusade, it's Kumui April, the power for the present hour, when I went to the crusade ground um, at one of our churches there, I was praying that, God, please, just a relief from the pain. Just a relief because the pains were becoming so much for me. I was unable to sleep. When, once it's night, I'll be like, God, can you just change the time so that it become morning for me? I can't just bear the pains all through the night. So during the last day of the global crusade, it's coming for the April edition, God visited me. I mean, God did beyond my expectations. I was only seeking for a relief from the pain, but God did a perfected, perfectly, perfectional healing. God did something beyond my expectation. Church, praise the Lord. That arthritis, right now, I can move my both fingers, my, all my fingers, I can move them. I can use my palms rightly. May God be all the praise in Jesus' name. Put your hands together for Jesus. More testimonies from online. It's indeed an avalanche of miracles. As we bring you, as we bring you these from the social media, Bosse Obingene wrote, God, you're faithful. The swelling in my daughter's armpits was mentioned while the man of God was praying. And after the prayers, I checked and discovered that the swelling is gone completely and she's fine. Remember that the man of God mentioned that every swelling will disappear. And tonight we can confirm on social media that more swellings disappeared. As this one comes from Matthew Iyere. There was a situation that had a swelling and it disappeared. Also, Omar Mikende had also pain that left immediately after the prayer of the man of God. Akirele Margaret Teller wrote, I am healed from serious breast pain about for some days now. After the prayers, I discovered that the pain is gone and I am healed. And now we'll take you to northern Nigeria, Sokoto Live. Praise the Lord. I'm standing here with the grace of God to testify the goodness of God in my life. I am by name Isaac Emmanuel Chagua. I am from Ekwa Church here in Sabombrini, Sokoto State, Nigeria. It happens since from 2007, I was diagnosed with ulcer. Since then, it has not been easy with me. Most of the time, say, any time I make a mistake of taking something with pepe, sour, or gas, sometimes I used to fail unconscious. I have to be rushed to the nearest hospital or nearest health center to get, to get remedy. But it happens during this year, Easter retreat. After the prayer of the man of God, 
when the man of God wants to do the last prayer, he asks that we should lay our hand where the problem is. And I did. After the prayer, I didn't feel anything. I went back home. The second day of the program, I still came. I didn't feel anything. The third day, of which I knew all of my, my, my family members, the entire extended family knew that I don't take anything with Pepe. So definitely, that day I was served a food with Pepe, very high Pepe. So I ate it. Immediately I swallowed it. I feel a pain when the food was going down. But immediately the food reached my stomach. It was cooled. And I tried, and I said, let me take again. I took about three to four spoons. That is how I ate that food. I was expecting, I took my antiseed gloss. I kept it. I was expecting that it would be usual. Definitely nothing happened. The following day, I specifically asked to be served food that would have pepe. And I did it. And nothing happened. Since that day, 15 years ulcer vanished. That is not just ulcer. Because the funniest part of it is that I have been working in a clinic as a health personnel. I work in a pharmacy. And there is no antiseptic drug that I have never taken. Anyone I knew in my life for these 15 years. But with the prayer of the man of God, God healed me instantaneously. Glory be to the name of the Lord. The second one is this year conclude, just, just this concluded uh, GCK that happened in Ukorodu, Lagos. I was having a very terrible um, uh, arthritis on my leg. But after the prayer of man of God, this leg, I cannot fold it. I cannot, when I sit down for a short time, period of five minutes, Without stretching it, I will be feeling pain. I have to be going with an adjacent drug everywhere I go. But with the prayer of the man of God, after the man of God prayed, now I can tell you that I can, I can hold this leg. I can fold it. Nothing will happen. Glory be to the name of God. I say thank you, Baba. Thank you, God. And thank you, Baba Kumui. Praise the Lord. My name is Obian Uju Aneke. From, from Assemblies of God, Sabumbrini, Sokoto State, Nigeria. I'm here this afternoon to, to give God the glory for the healing he gave unto me. When this program come up last month, that was June, one of the, one of the parlor members gave me the, my neighbor, they gave me the ambi before the man of God still came. I said, I will not miss it this month. For the past month, I've missed it, but this month, I will not miss it. So when I came to the program, and where the program starts, when the man of God wants to pray, he asks everybody to hold that place that you know that you're having problem. So I hold my chest. Because that chest for past, I cannot, I don't, it's more than three, four years. I cannot trek, I cannot move from here to every time I'm on top machine or motor. Even when I visit my children, they, even they took me to hospital there for no event. Even here in Sabombrini, I've been buying drugs. No event, none of them is working. I will still be feeling that pain. But when that program was going on, going on now, small time, I saw, I saw my chest. It's like my chest want to come out. Well, I said, ah, I hold that chest and I was still praying, you know. I was still praying, but that chest is still disturbing me. Before the program stopped and the chest stopped, so when I went back home, I said, let me try it. So I tried from my shop to house, and I not feel that pain again. The next day, too, I still try it. I not feel that pain again. The second one is this, my knees. In the night, from my knee to the head toe, I will not sleep. My leg will be paining me. They say it's a rheumatism. Most when we say pour water, I will spend like one hour, 30 minutes every night. So the second program too, the second day, so I still hold down my leg. All my prayer was this leg. I, pulled, I was holding this my leg, praying, praying. So after the program, now I reached out that night. I not feel anything. Even since that day, since that night, even my husband was asking me, ah, say, ah, now what happened to the leg? You are not feeling the gabi. I went to hospital to Sokota. I said, no. I said, since that program I went in the past life, I said, I have not feel, uh, since that day, that leg, everything stopped. Even that my chest, everything stopped. I'm not feeling anything again. May God receive the glory and honor in the name of Jesus. And next, we'll take you to the social media.
from the social media. This is coming from Esther Ibitomi Singh from Protocols. According to her, she's had this toothache for some time now. She went for extraction. It was done. But shortly after that, an excruciating pain returned at that same spot. She went back to the hospital and she was yeah. told that the spot is not, did not heal. And that is the reason for the pain. But she came for the crusade and on the first day of the triumphant power, triumphant power touched that spot. And right now, the pain is gone. Even without the use of the drug she was given, she feels very well right now because the pain is gone and gone completely. On YouTube, Teresa Okechuku wrote, I've had severe back pain that seized my left shoulder and affected my breathing. But the man of God mentioned all of those cases tonight. And after the prayers, all of those cases disappeared. And now I am free. We now take you to Southern Africa, Lesotho, live. I would like to testify, children of God, for what the Lord has done for me in my life. It's a miracle. My name is Harriet Musonda from Deeper Life Bible Church in Lusaka, Zambia. I'm here to testify because of what the Lord has done, because of what I went through. You will hear from my daughter who was looking after me because I can't remember what really transpired. My name is Joyce Msonda. The one who was sick is my mother. I'm the firstborn daughter. It was on a Wednesday when she had gone for prayers for the elderly. They said those who are 70 years should go for prayers. So when she came back on Wednesday, she complained of pain in the legs. On Thursday, I went to church. At 14 hours, when she came outside the house, she said she did not have strength. She was not walking properly. She said the legs were paining when I asked her. That's how I took her to Edgar Lungo Clinic, and there was no Marelia. When I went to the bedroom and took her home, she was not standing up. From that time, she stopped standing up on her own. During the June crusade, would get the phone and set it on her ear so that she could listen. So one day, she sat on her own without anyone lifting her and without anyone sitting on her side. So one day we sat in the sitting room. Somebody else was sleeping. We just saw her coming and she was walking on her her own. She's, we said, how did you manage to come from that time onwards? She's never sat down. She's been up and down going to the shop. And the children and the grandchildren were happy that she had recognized them. She now goes to the shop. She sells in the shop. When you hear that the crusade is going to take place, Pastor Kumui is going to have a crusade. Do not hesitate. You must attend the crusade. These crusades are real. They are powerful. And with that testimony from Lusaka, Zambia, we'll return to the moderating overseer. Somebody shout, Global Reviver. I can't hear you very well. United States shout, Global Reviver. Through GCK and Amen in Jesus' name. We return to Alpha location with testimony. Beside me is Mrs. Mayomi Juliana from Etioro in Akumba here in Ondo State. She had hearing impairment, but now the power of God has healed her and she wants to share her testimony. Eba mi ke aleluya Eba mi ni Jesu logo mo dupe lowo Olorun alaye 
ni wo odun keji ni mo fi accident ni mo de se accident yen mo wa ro pe boya egun kan ni leyin ati ese lati gba yen ese yen wa ndun mi o ma mi ti nawo nawo eti mi wa fi gboran mo sugbon o ni wa di ti je ta a ro je ta mo wa ji mo wa so fun omo mi pe pe mo ri awon adipa life to nlo eh pe won so pe baba fun mu yi wa o pe emi a tele won lo o o wa ni eh ko de so won ni ki do de ti mi so fun tele o wa ni o wa ti e ya bo ti e bi o si o wa ti be lo gba o wa mu owo yen o wa fun mi o wa ni ki lo wo mato o wa wo mato de je ta yen mo wa ba won wa si bi bi mo de se de bi yen mo wa wa si company bi bi a se de bi ba ni mo se nka ti mo fi rin mi le re ati ese yen mo de dupe lowo olorun alaye bi mo se de bi ti won ni ki kalukun ma fowo kan ibi to dun won mo fowo kan eyin yen mo fowo kan ese yen bi mo se bi mo de se fowo le gbogbo e mo de dupe lowo olorun alaye lati je ta yen ese ni mo fi rin lati bi school ti adesi ese ni mo fi rin lo ti mo fi rin bo lati je ta yen eti yen mo ti fi ti bi mo ti fi n gboran lapa otun yen mo dupe lowo olorun pe ogun yo ku olorun aba mi se lase tan mo dupe lowo olorun alaye iji yen ni mo ni ma fi jere si agbara olorun alaye god for the healing of her mommy from the the problem she had with her leg with her back the power of god has healed her and also the hearing impairment she has received the touch of god mama in back with number fun yin e gbo e down e so tele mi abi fe e ti gbo o kan eji erin praise the lord put your hands together for jesus here impairment healed your miracle is there already you are the need to testify This is Mrs. Alice Odu. She had generalized body ache, myalgia, for a period of seven years. But now she has received the touch of God. The Lord has made her whole. Let's hear her story. Praise the Lord. I'm Alice Odu. I don't suffer. It don't reach seven years ago. The pain is my body. My brother was carrying me up and down, different, different place. How about this doctor? No different. Doctor place, different, different test, no different. But the first day I come for this program, from day, my body is start to get different. I start to work out. I go out, I go out like that fast until they break. I get up, get up for money time. I say, God, you there yeah? Now, so my body can't do okay, I can't do free. Now, they have me thank God. Lord, she has received the touch of God and she's old from a problem of seven years. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. This is the third day of this program. We have three days more. Testimonies and miracles will continue to increase. And tomorrow will be greater than today. And uh, we'll be going to prepare for Sunday service tomorrow now. We want to rise up and thank the Lord for what he has done for us. Let's bless the name of the Lord for the testimonies we have listened to here in Alpha Location and all over the world. Let's appreciate the Lord for the great things God is doing around the world. 
great, great things that God has done. Shall we rise up to say thank you, Lord? We appreciate more coming your way. It's back now to the coordinating overseer. Your own testimony is coming on the way. Amen. Let me hear your amen. amen. We now invite the Undo State Choir to come up, the Battalion Choir. Put your hands together for Christ. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. As the battalion choir preparing to come on stage, we want to announce to you the arrival of the former governor of the state, Dr. Olusegun Mimiko. He's in the house. Praise the Lord. Dr. Mimiko has decided to visit here to see the wonders of God and to felicitate with her Father and in the Lord in this great power show. Praise the Lord. Well, our former governor is, is called Iroko. But today we have greater Iroko. And when Iroko meets Iroko, something will happen. Say amen. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. And as the choir uh, gets ready to uh, render the divine song to us, we want to allow our governor to uh, greet the house just in three minutes. We're sorry because our time has slipped away. We've been waiting for him. Governor, sir, welcome, sir. Put your hands together as we welcome our governor. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let me pay my respects to our Father and the Lord, a general of generous, our own Pastor Kubuyi. Thank you so much, sir, for what you've been to us. And I greet all my fathers and the Lord, mothers in the Lord, and every member of this wonderful congregation. Oh, do praise the Lord! We just thank God for a time like this. Sir, I have no doubt in my mind that Undo will never be done again with this your visit. We are blessed to have you, sir. And we thank God for what you are to this nation. Righteousness exalts a nation, but sin is a reproach to any nation. But the Bible also tells us, sir, and I remember very vividly when Father Abraham was interceding and negotiating on behalf of Sodom and Gomorrah. The Lord says, even if there were ten people who were righteous, he would spare Sodom and Gomorrah. But there was somebody that was righteous there. When the angels came, every man, young and old, wanted to sodomize. So it means that it was a universal nation of sin. And when I look at Nigeria, our level of perfidy in this nation, I sit down and I say, why is it that in spite of everything in this country, this country still stands? It's because of people like you that intercede for this nation. Each time, 